Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on the Jurassic Park. And actually, I've just been having some thoughts here today, and I'm honestly tempted to just change this from a Jurassic Park to just a Jurassic Museum, because, oh man, just the idea of having to build, like, tons and tons of pens and enclosures, and I don't really want to decorate them with uh, the eco stuff, I feel like it's almost worth just making a really cool museum building, and then having all of the creatures in like taxidermy based thingies and then I don't know that might be better because at this point I still have to tame like males and females of each type and I, I don't know I, I'm very tempted to just change it to that instead <laughs> let me know what you, what you guys think about that because I mean a lot of people were saying that I should just do that a little while ago when the taxidermy stuff was announced but I don't know we'll, we'll see I might I might end up doing that yeah we might end up doing that we'll see Anyway, so today we have some exciting news. We uh we have ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, something awesome spawned. So in the last episode, I talked about how I basically made so a ton of the vanilla creatures can't spawn. I still need to do some of the other ones, but it's definitely helping out. Uh, I need to actually stop all of the aberrant variants from spawning, which is something that I got to figure out how to do. And then I don't mind about all these alpha spawning, that's completely fine because we can kill those and get extra levels and whatnot. But uh, there's a couple other dinos scattered in here, like Bulb Dog, don't really need those here. Some other creatures like that that we need to stop spawning. And uh, that's probably something that I'm going to do between episodes. But it's definitely helping because everything seems to be spawning now. All of the goodies. So like, we got, we got tons of those, we got a couple more of those, we got... Oh my god, that's a lot of Zilla babies. We got just tons of amazing stuff. So I was scrolling through the list, and I was... Where is it? Death Dodo. We got a freaking 150 on the map. We might go get that at some stage. But Colossus Megalodon. There's a 180. There is a 180, and we're going to go tame that here today. Now, I'm kind of confused about the area. Uh, apparently, they could spawn in the rivers. That's a bit weird. Um... Like, unless that's, like, right on the edge or something, and it's, like, right here. Although, I guess, I think that square stops around here, so it must be in the rivers here somewhere. We're gonna look for that in a few minutes here. Uh, so 66, 35. Interesting. Okay. There's also a bunch of the other ones around, and they all seem to be kind of in around, like, the coast around there. And then there's a few scattered over the other side of the map. And then there's another one in the river as well, which is kind of, sort of close to the... The one that we saw? I don't know. I think it was, at least. But, um, yeah, let me see. Do we wanna... Hmm, how do we wanna get there? I guess we could fly on you. So, what I wanna do is, I wanna get over there and check it out with the spyglass, but have a sleeping bag beside me just in case I die. Because I'm probably gonna die. This thing could easily just bite me and one-shot me. So, I wanna at least have method to spawn in once I die. So, I actually, I really should've... We'll, we'll make one. <laughs> I need a sleeping bag. <laughs> so stupid. Why do I always forget things like this? Where is it? Uh, let's see. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Everybody's really enjoying the Jurassic videos lately, which is fantastic, because I'm really enjoying making them. It's nice to have, like, a fresh experience on a map that I really have not played on too much uh, with a lot of dinos that are modded and they're interesting and stuff. So, yeah, I, I really like it. It's, uh... Oh my god, Frickin there's two titans over here, what the hell? Were those the titans that were back over at my base a while ago? Or are titans over spawning? I might have to check out and see how many titans are on the map. Yeah, we should do that when we get over here. What was it again, 6635, I think? Uh, let's see, where are we? Ooh, okay, there we go. Oh, we're actually pretty close. We're already pretty much at 35, we just gotta head south from here. So, where exactly is this then? Is it like in the river right ahead of us? 35 is, is further this way, right? Yeah, so maybe it's over there by those pillars near the, um... wait, no, we're almost at 66 actually. It should be in here somewhere then. 66, 35. 35 is over here. Is that it there? Oh, that's it right there. Hey, hello, it's a female, it's a lady, all right. Sweet, it's actually right by the side as well. That is kind of strange how they spawn this river. Interesting, okay. So let's get this going. Let's go ahead and just kill the creatures around here. So we're safe to kind of just like sit around. Um, 
I uh, can't see. Is that a Triandon up there? Is that one that would come after me, maybe? I'm not sure. We gotta kill whatever this is, this Giga. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, you have the head bang thing as well. I forgot that they had that. Or maybe, did, is that new? I don't even know, actually. Uh, can you guys, are you guys gonna come to me? What the hell's happening? There we go, maybe they just don't like attacking wyverns. I'm not sure. All right, what is, what is that? Is that, are you one of the bad Tronodons that I hate? Yeah, you are. I gotta get rid of you. Let's go ahead and park him up here. So I actually need some fiber. So there's a couple bushes over there and we have some hide already. And I'm gonna grab this dino DNA, sweet. Okay. Oh, we've already got enough. Sweet. Uh, oh, now the Triadon's attacking my wyvern. That's great. Let's see. Uh, sleeping bags. You know what? Let's grab a few. What? What is happening here? My freaking visor thing keeps turning on. I guess it's because I'm holding down E, but that's kind of weird. I feel like when you're around harvestable things, that shouldn't happen. Can I harvest, please? No. Helmet, stop! There we go. <laughs> All right, so we'll probably make like three or four sleeping bags. It should be enough. Oh, now there's two Tyranodons. Or wait, no, it's just one. Never mind. All righty, so bam. We got eight of them on the way. And we should probably kill this Tyranodon. So I brought a crossbow because obviously if this dude's underwater and I can't shoot him from the surface, then I'm going to need to go into the water and shoot him from there. He seems to have gone away now. I think we're good. We scared him away. So we'll put down our sleeping bags like right here, I guess. Come on. Come on. Oh, go away! This dude is so awkward to hit. They're like a flying pancake. Get out of here. Oh, damn it. There we go. We got him. <laughs> Alright, let's see. A couple more of these. Cool. Uh, okay, so I want to take off my armor and we get into the water. Oh, I need to drop my frog. That's important. <gasps> what? Is, what's everything? What are you guys coming? What are you doing? Stay over there. What is that? Was that a dillo? Why are those trikes coming over to me? I think they were maybe chasing that dillo, but that's really confusing. Okay, well, let's shoot at these guys. Is that a Rexy? I think it's a Rexy. Uh oh. Oh no, I might actually need that sleeping bag. Oh, I accidentally picked up my wyvern. Oops. Okay, we got him. <laughs> oh man, I love that animation when he died. Oh no, no, never mind. Okay, we can't have a nice day where dinos don't do this. This is horrifying. Look at his freaking jaw like molded into itself. It's just purely just terrifying in every sense of the word. All right, let's see. Oh, and I need to put down this gravestone so I can grab my gear back. I know I've got one more sleeping bag. There we go. Cool. All right. Jesus, that is just terrifying. This needs to not happen. So let's see. Mr. Shark, let me see if I can have a look at your torpor levels. Uh, Where are you? Mrs. Shark, there you are. Okay, what the hell is that? Is that a Basilo? That is so... Oh, what is attacking? Go away. God damn it. That's a Basilo with... It looked like there was tons of Manta there, but there's actually not that many. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Man, maybe we'll just fly over. Uh, we'll probably need this as well. We'll fly over. Ah, can I... There we go. And then I could just drop into the water right beside it. Oh, this might be perfect, actually. Look at this. It's like in a really nice uh, shallow spot. Oh, uh oh. Oh god, it dropped us right in on top. Oh no, okay. Okay. Just keep swimming towards it. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> god damn it. All right. Uh, we gotta try that again. We gotta figure out what a torpor is. It's the only way. Um, so we gotta spawn back. Where? 
there. All right, let's try this again. Um, bam, bam, and uh, we'll just fly up a little bit. Oh, there you are. You're angry, aren't you? Okay. Come to me. I need to see your torpor. Come back. No, what? No, come on. Where are you going? No, don't do that. Come on. Where is it? Oh, how deep is this freaking water? Dude, that is scary deep. Oh, it's got those. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I got a, I got a good idea. Where is it? Ah! Okay. Because that way it was just going to bite me. But if I could drop in on top of it, we might be able to do this. Okay, come on. I'm, I'm very tempted to just throw on the tech chest piece and just swim towards it. I completely missed that one. How the hell did I miss that one? This thing's giant. Maybe arrows just don't work on them. Uh-oh. Uh... What is happening? Okay, I got a flash of it there. I'm gonna actually look back at that footage. Okay, so I have news. Let me just click on this. So the uh, the Colossus Megalodon, its torpor is two million two hundred thirty thousand six hundred. That's uh, that's a lot of torpor. I um, that's a lot of torpor. That is a huge amount of torpor. I'm not even sure if I can manage this. I know that they're tameable. Just, that's terrifying. It has so much torpor. Uh, man. I mean, if I can... I was thinking of possibly getting it into, like, a pen. You know what? I just realized that watching this right here is not interesting. I was thinking of getting it into a pen. Uh, but I think we're definitely going to have to do that. If I can trap it with the gates that I have in my inventory, then we should be able to tame it. Um, it's got... By the way, it's got 1,628,000 health so this thing is an absolute beast in the wild like and it's a 180 it's the max level so like this is definitely like the hardest tame that there is right now i mean i don't know how hard the other bosses are to tame but jesus this thing is an absolute beast it just wants all of the narcotics it's crazy uh let's go ahead and do this um we gotta drag it over here there it is I don't even know if it's worth trying to start tranking, like, we could just start tranking it right now, maybe a little bit. We might need a bigger boat, is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Come on, over here. Definitely gonna need a bigger boat. Jesus, this thing, it, like, they're already terrifying, like, they do so much damage and stuff, and they're really hard to kill. We've killed a few of them, but we only killed them because they were in shallow waters, and, like, they were pretty easy to get. Uh, this thing is just running away from me now. It does not want... Ah! It does not want any Syntac. I think it's... Yeah. We should be okay now. It should be following us. Um, if we can bring it close enough to the land, we can maybe pop some gates around it and then just trap it and then build, like, a proper trap after we have it initially trapped. Okay, yeah. I knew that it would lose interest eventually there. Uh, oh, we gotta swap out our grappling hooks. Actually, I'm just thinking, might be worth having grappling hooks there just in a pinch. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was coming towards us. Whew. In a pinch, we might have to use grapples to get away from it. Let's, uh... Let's see, where are you? Is that not it there? Oh, it was, apparently. Okay, come on, over here. No. Wait, let's see. Let's turn on the helmet. Where is it? Oh, is that it there? Yeah, that's it. Okay, come on. It's coming. Or is it? It's actually swimming away completely. Come on. What are you doing? Come play. Can I grapple into you? Oh, maybe I don't want to do that. All right. 
It's coming. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Okay. All right, that's terrifying. Let's see, uh, gates, we, we got it close enough to the surface anyway. <gasps> we might be able to actually trap it right now. What? Wait, what? Is it because there's no ground? Can I not place these in the water? Oh, I can, sort of. Okay, maybe what we could do is we can like get it to come close to us and then we could just snap the gates onto it. Oh yeah, let's do this. Wait, do bear traps work on fish? <laughs> Could this be a thing? Could we trap it with like a bear trap in the center? I wonder if that's a thing. I kind of want to try, but I don't have a bear trap with me and I don't want to head back right now. Oh, okay. No, 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 here, look. Live bait right here. Come on, come get it. Get your premium syntax right here. Fresh. I shower every day, come on. All right, come on. I promise I don't taste bad. All right, let's get up here. Come on. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, oh my God. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, we need, we need a bear trap or something. <gasps> no, <laughs> I didn't mean to go that. Oh no, okay. Our armor is just shredded. It just destroyed every single piece. We're okay, I mean, like, it's fine. I guess there's no point of, like, playing it safe anymore. Might as well just hop straight into the water. I realize that uh, sleeping bags actually have a cooldown, so it's kind of dumb to have sleeping bags, but it's okay. Oh, stupid ACM freeze thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, we might, we might have to drop back and fix our armor, so. Um, a normal bed and, oh, can he get me from here? Okay, that would be perfect right now if we could trap it. A normal bed and a bear trap would be useful. Could we get it to go through like a small gap? We could do that trick where you, you can catch, uh, is it fish or is it like, Shrimp. I don't know what it what it is, but you can like I think it's like mini fish Although you might also be able to use the trick on shrimp where you get like a bottle cut off the top and then like turn the top around and put you know the That side in oh my god, <laughs> and we can we can kind of trap it So like the fish can swim in but they can't find their way out. I think it works on uh, Like shrimp as well Let's see do I oh oh my god, okay, come on Whew Get it together, Syntac. We're okay. Let's uh, let's do this. It might come back over here. In which case, we can take out a gate. Oh, we, we could like shark cage this one. Yeah, but we could take out the gate and then uh, it might be able to swim in. All right, let's take out that gate. Okay, is it coming in? Is it in? Oh, it's, I, oh, okay. I thought it was in the trap. Okay, false alarm. Okay, um. Come on. Okay, here we go, here we go, we're good. Okay, come on. Are we okay, is it in? I don't think it is. I don't think that counts. Okay, now it's in. Oh, man, I just need, oh, no, they're learning. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, we're gonna need a bear trap or something. I don't know if that works on sharks, but we need to try it. Can we get this to go that way? Okay, now I'm drowning. Okay, so we need to fix our armor, get a bear trap, and then we need to trap this thing. <sighs> Three things that we gotta do. Um, oh, you know what? I reckon it might be able to get into this. There we go, yes. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, it got me, but it's okay. Although the sleeping bags definitely are not ready, are they? Oh, they are, sweet, okay. Let me let me just do this really quick. Okay. Um, give me that. Let's see, uh, 
Needed to scratch my head, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. We gotta we gotta get this thing in here. Come on. Into your into your little shark cage. Okay. We do Oh wait, you know what? You know what? We get really close to it. Ah! Come on, go that go the other no, go the other way. Stupid freaking gates. They placed into each other. How's that even possible? Can you just like go that way? Why is why does it keep flicking back? <laughs> okay. I want there. No, there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, here, let's see. Let's open this gate. Come on. Get in. Get in, you big... Okay, never mind. You know what? We're gonna take a little bit of... Oh, God, it's smarter than I am. No. We're gonna... Mm. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna get ourselves some bear traps. We're gonna see if this might work. Okay. No, this thing's way smarter than I am, and it really, it really likes eating me. Let's just, like, drop in a couple gates. No. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure if it's trapped or not, but it looks like it might be. Uh, we tried the bear traps, they weren't working, so I just let it eat me at the same time I was spamming gates. And I managed to spam enough, and seemingly we've we've trapped it. This thing's freaking giant, holy crap. Alright. You know, wait, no, no, what am I doing? We should be using this. Actually, wait, no. Even better. We should be using this, because we can rapid fire some of these darts into this thing and try to get it at least partially tranked. So we just gotta keep hitting it. Reload. <laughs> this thing's still bugged out, so when you're reloading you can still shoot somehow. It's so strange. Like, watch. Look. <laughs> I don't want to shoot again there because I wouldn't hit. Because we have, like, the weapons way. Alright. This is, uh, this is working. At least we have it trapped and it doesn't seem to be able to want to get out. I don't know. I think we're good. So, it's gonna be a lot of this for a while. Um, and the good part about the actual trank darts is that they build on the torpor. I know I could be waiting like five seconds or whatever, but I don't think that's an issue with uh, trank darts. But with the arrows, we probably would have to wait five seconds because it's not gonna do any additional torpor if we don't. So, yeah. Um, let's see, how much have we... Uh, you know what? I'll just I'll keep the chest piece on just the chest piece. I want to be able to at least fly up to it Oh No What the hell I just no what the hell happened? Why did I fall in? <laughs> ah, why did that happen? <laughs> I have no clue how the hell that happened. I didn't let go. I Just started falling all right. We're good. Oh, for a second there, I got frightened because I saw this trap empty, and I was like, no, he got out. Nah, I think we're good, though. Let's see. Well, it wouldn't be a boss taming if I didn't die, like, 10 billion times, so... We're all good. Maybe I'll just suicide run it here and just see if I can spot the torpor. I just want to see how much we... Okay, that's not bad. 34k so far. Yeah, this is manageable. It's going to take a while, but... But yeah, it's manageable. Um, and actually, one thing we can do while it's right beside us here, I freaking I brought the frog for this specific reason. Let me go over and grab the frog. And we're like super far away from the shark, so I should probably move the bed closer. So when we do die, we don't like deload the area completely. Come on, froggy. All right, come on. There we go. We hit it. Sweet. That was a good shot. So, Sugma was a creature that we used constantly to tame. Oh, I've just realized, yeah. Can't ride on it. Too heavy. Come on over here. What is that? Oh, why did you spawn there, stupid raptor? How did you... You weren't there before. At least tell me there's no more. Raptors are very difficult to deal with. Okay, I think we're okay. Come on, Froggy. Um, all right, here's what we can do. How long do we have in that? Five minutes? All right, I'll remember that. Might be able to hit the shark from here. Nah. So if anybody doesn't know, 
the dart frog. Oh, no, 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 that's not okay. <laughs> the dart frog has a poisonous gas. And if you get close enough, obviously, to hit, you can actually use it on creatures. <laughs> but with something with a giant AoE like this, no, I'm going to get hit. It's probably not the best. Now, I know I could also bite and apply Torpor that way, but that's not the best as well because then I'm, I'm gonna take damage. I feel like if I made a ceiling and like a little ramp or something, I could get close enough. So I might do that, we'll see. All right, well, either way, I'm probably just gonna bring you guys back once this thing's knocked out. Like, cause there's really no point in me standing here for like, I don't know even, I don't even know how long it's gonna take to actually get this thing down. It's probably gonna take at least like a half an hour. <laughs> so maybe even more, I don't even know. So um, yeah, we'll be back in a bit when this thing's down and then we'll tame it up finally and then we can, we can actually use it. Oh man. Okay, well the beast is down. Uh, it kind of happened so suddenly and I almost hit it with a dart afterwards. Didn't even realize. I mean, I'd been watching its torpor, but I didn't realize we were that close. So, oh man, it's down. We actually damaged it by a huge amount. And man, I've been doing this for ages. It took way more than a half an hour to down this thing. And the frog, I've been using the frog tons as well. Like getting it close enough and I landed it up on top of the bar because he was kind of facing that way. And it just started like farting on him and stuff. And yeah, oh, I guess her, whatever. Um, it's finally down anyway. We can start taming it. I'm just gonna assume it takes, uh, what is it called? Mutton? It's gonna start eating soon, probably. But uh, yeah, really happy. Uh, there is actually a saddle that we need to make. Uh, let me see. Colossus Megalodon saddle. 250 Engram points, wow, okay. It's very expensive. Uh, so we can go ahead and make that up then. Let me see. I'm gonna drop down a beacon, and then we're gonna teleport to the base. And I gotta make up that saddle, and then we're gonna come back and wait for this thing to be tamed up. And then, after that, I will bring you guys back. Okay, oop, we're floating. Hmm, so apparently when you hit record, it doesn't always start recording. Oh, we just lost that. Uh, anyway, we have it tamed. Uh, oh my god, you know what? I know I'm gonna get, because I didn't show it actually physically being tamed. Tribe of Syntac. If I force tamed it, it would just say tamed by Syntac, and it wouldn't require a saddle. Screw off. I know I know those comments always come in. It's really annoying, but we have it. We have it. It's up. It's great. And also, yeah, I, I, I recorded like what well, I thought I was recording, and I was talking about how this little, this little cage thing that the uh, character is kind of sitting in. Let me show you. You know what? I have to pretty much go over everything that we just talked about, which didn't count because it wasn't recording. All right, see me? There's my feet. My head's over here, I do believe. And uh, for some reason, I'm laying across the back. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this little cage thing that you have as a saddle, which is kind of interesting. It looks a little bit derpy, but it's cool. I guess it's like a little shark cage thing, you know, so you can dive with the Colossus Megalodon. I don't know. Maybe it's part of, like the lore or something with this creature. I don't know, because this creature is from like a Jurassic World or Jurassic Park or something, Jurassic game. And uh, it's kind of like some sort of like uh, alpha hybrid or something like that. And uh, yeah, so it's not like, it's not originally made for Ark or whatever. So just thought I should mention that. It's pretty cool though. I really like the model in Ark, it looks great. But um, yeah, its attacks are pretty basic. So we got, we got that and nothing else. We don't have anything else on it, but that's okay. I mean, it's fine. I mean, the sharks don't really have any other animations, so it's kind of hard to like come up with new attacks if you if you don't have that. But I thought with all that like purple kind of lightning around it or something that we'd have something else. Maybe like a speed buff or something cuz it kind of reminds me of like the flash with all that lightning around it. I don't know. But uh yeah, let's see. We got um we got amazing stats. How many? That's two million. Okay, I think that's... Is that the exact figure that it was before it was tamed? I think it might be. It was around that number-ish before it was tamed, the health was. So that's crazy. The damage is... It looks like a normal number, but it's... I think it does like 2k. Uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to do first person and look at things, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let's go for this fish right here. So we do like 2k, which is pretty amazing. Let's pump in just everything into damage, I guess, because nothing's gonna kill me. 
I I'm never going to run out of stamina, and I don't need weight, so might as well. Everything into freaking damage, make this thing an absolute beast. Oh, we got one of these guys over here. Cool. So we could just kill everything in the river first, and then move on to everything else. Man, the more I look through this uh, sh little shark cage thing, the more annoyed I get. It's really irritating. Oh wow, he does like 800 damage. That's okay. I mean, we should be we should be completely fine here. <laughs> oh dude, you didn't stand a chance, now did you? I kind of like to go in first person on water creatures because your camera can like end up out of the water, and that's just really irritating. But uh, that little shark cage, I'm not a not the biggest fan of this. It's kind of hard to see. So, I'm kind of forced to go into third person. See, like, I can't even see in the water, so I kind of have to, like, angle the camera up. Uh, let me, let me go ahead and kill this weird dolphin thingy. And... Bam! You know what, actually? We could maybe hunt down another Colossus Megalodon. There was another one in the river, right? We could, we could have a look for that one, actually. Let's see, um... Let's go over to the side and do that. Oh, hey! Did you fall into the water? I'm sorry, buddy. Let me see. Uh, let's go over here. We can plop down our um, transmitter and then just dino scan for some more Colossus Megalodons. It would be pretty cool if we could like if we if we could actually like kill one. I don't know if I'm as strong as them, but I could definitely just keep pumping into that melee. Let me see. Let's do this and dino scan for Colossus. Megalodon. So I don't know which one it was. So let's just go through all of them. Coast, coast. Uh, was it this? No, I don't think it was that one that I saw earlier. Maybe he moved. He might have actually. All right. So what's the coordinates? That's the wait. Which one is it? One fifty-six. Oh, that's a high level. Eighty-one thirty-four. It might have been that one, or it might have been another one. Um, right, we've. Do we already check that one? I can't remember. Thirty. Okay, 24. Uh, I think it's this one. That might have been the one that I was looking at. Oh, there's another. There's an 18 in here as well. I think the 18 is probably the closest, so let's go fight that one. So 70, 40. Let's bring this with us. And we need GPS. So where are we right now? We're actually really close to that. Let's see. Can I take out my GPS? No, I have to do the Q trick thingy. There we go. So we need to go to 40. So 70, 40. So it's like really far east this way. So we could just keep killing things on the way. Um, all right, oh, I gotta hit Q again. There we go. It's kind of cool how like, when I'm in this little shark cage, I don't know, it just, it looks kind of cool from the inside, but like underwater, it's really hard to see. This is nice though. <laughs> all right, so east, oh man, that thing is super far over there, isn't it? Okay, I guess I'll just bring you guys back when we're over there. You got another power sword. Why are they all in the water? Okay, so we should be right beside it now. Ish. I don't know where it is though. I didn't see it on the way in, so. Could be over here. I mean, what was it, like 70, 40? That's technically like right here, so. Could be here somewhere, maybe? Maybe down there? I don't know, it's super hard to see. Uh, maybe down here, oh, is there like a cave or something? No, that's weird looking. Uh, no, it just kinda cliffs off there. Might have to take another look at where this thing is because it seems like it either moved or, oh, there it is, hey! How much damage do you do to me? Okay, we, we can kill this thing. Let's bring it up closer to the surface though because it's a little bit more fun when we can actually see properly. All right. You follow me? Hell yeah. Okay. So this is gonna take ages to kill. So I don't think I'm even gonna show the full fight, but we're a lot stronger than it is, so we should be able to kill it. Uh, I can't actually see it. So maybe let's go down a little bit. Where is it gone? What, did you not follow me up here? Where are you, you coward? There it is, what the hell? Come back here. What are you doing? How dare you do that to me? I am the Colossus Megalodon and you shall respect me and fight me. Okay, it's doing, yeah, it's not doing that much. We're doing like double the damage. 
That is fantastic. And we're also attacking a lot quicker as well, so we should be pretty good. All right, so this is going to take a while, obviously, so I will see you guys when this thing's probably almost dead. we got to bring it closer to the surface, though, because I can't see crap. Like, I need to kind of see if it's mostly damaged or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God, are you kidding me? I was, like, just clicking and not watching. I freaking killed it. I didn't know that they gave you a lot of DNA like that. That's cool, and I know I, I knew about the element, but holy crap, I completely missed it. I like look over and then it's gone, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, I was looking at my YouTube stats and stuff. Oh my god. All right, well it's dead anyway. Uh, we didn't even take that much damage. We took like, I don't know, that looks like about 80k ish. So didn't even take that long to kill actually, which is kind of interesting. So maybe they just, maybe that one just had a lot less health or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's dead, amazing. I didn't get to show off any of the fight, but to be honest, I couldn't even see that it was low on, on health or anything, so I don't even think I would've even got it on camera. <laughs> but uh, we, might have be, we might have been able to see like a giant dead shark at some point, I don't know. But that is a nice amount of DNA. We can use that, we can definitely use that. And then the element is very appreciated. All right, maybe, I don't know. We got like seven levels as well, actually. Well, I think it was around seven when we killed it. Um, we, so we didn't get like a huge amount from it, which is kind of interesting as well. Maybe we could try to kill some more. I don't know. We could hunt down that other one, I think. I don't know. To be honest, there's not very many things that could really challenge this, and if I can already kill my own species, then nothing in the water is a challenge. Um, the only other thing that I could think of as a use for this guy is maybe kind of drawing some of the larger bosses towards the water and then attacking them in the water with this thing. That could be useful. Let's just kill these things. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, like, this, this freaking Colossus Megalodon is really cool. I'm glad that we actually tamed it. It's really cool, but, uh, it's definitely not as useful because... Like, there's nothing, there's no threats to me now. I am the king of the ocean. So, nothing is going to, nothing's going to be able to fight me. What are these things? Are these the sperm whales? There's something else here, is there not? I thought that there was something else, like a Mosa or something. I think maybe I killed that. I wasn't even paying attention. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and just kill the rest of these guys. Got them. Lots of oil. Amazing. So yeah, that is the Colossus Megalodon. There's the other Mosa. And um, yeah, it's pretty freaking amazing. It's our first boss that we've tamed, which is cool. So yeah, maybe we might tame the Death Dodo next. We got that 150, we could definitely tame that. Could be a thing. We gotta make like a taming pen though, because its minions are horrifying. Like the, I'd say the Colossus Megalodon is like the easier boss. The Death Dodo is like a freaking behemoth. It's like, the thing itself is not even that strong. It's all of its minions that can like do Mosa bites, which is just crazy. So maybe we'll do that at some point soon. That could be kind of fun. I, I would probably die like 20 billion times trying to do it. So it's always fun when there's a lot of Syntax death. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Oh man. Eh. <laughs> if you guys want to see more like this, you can of course subscribe. That is terrifying. What even? <laughs> We'll be seeing you in the next one. Arr. Fly up in the air. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a balloon. Dude, that's crazy. It's like when you when you let go of a balloon with tons of air in it. 